Hello, Sean Boyd with Cal OES. We hope you are safe and dry. We have been watching how this storm has been developing. We have been watching it all over the state, in fact, but we're paying particular attention to really what's going on in the Bay Area. We have that with Information Officer Brad Alexander, who is out there in the middle of it, coming up right now with OES News in depth. Sean Boyd here in the Cal OES State Operations Center. We're going to go now to Brad Alexander, our chief, who's out in St. Helena. Brad, it looks like uh, things have kind of simmered down a little bit. It looks like the rain and the wind have given you a break. What's going on? So right now there is a bit of a break with the wind. It has been picking up to 30, 40 mile an hour sometimes. It's been chilly when that wind is picking up, but right now the, the rain has also died down. Behind us is a trestle bridge at Lodi Lane near Deer Park in St. Helena. Now St. Helena is a town of about 6,000 people near Napa. Uh, the, and the trestle was getting washed over by a significant amount of rain here. It crested to about 19 feet and 2 inches. But we're coming back down now off of that high. All right, well, that's good to see. Uh, taking a look at the video that I'm looking at right now, it looks like uh, you're right. The water has sort of subsided. There's a lot of debris kind of left over the bridge there. Looking at some video now from a little bit earlier, uh, the water is flowing at a pretty good clip, rain coming down, obviously, and you've got some spectators who were obviously interested in what was going on in, in their area. Uh, what are you seeing now? I know you've got some people who are out there now kind of taking a look. Have you had a chance to talk to anyone? Have you had a chance to discuss what they've seen and maybe how this might compare to you know, recent times? Or what can you tell us? Yeah, so actually we had the St. Helena fire chief out here just a few moments ago, but he had to get, get back on his route, checking all the signs of damages. He said that basically the bigger impacts that they were going to see from this weather system have come through at about four o'clock here today. And he was scanning this bridge to make sure it was doing okay. This is a local hotspot that people who have lived in this area for a while know that this is going to be one of those areas that gets flooded pretty quickly. Um, and the vineyards out here are obviously in great number. You're going to see a lot of standing water in between the grapevines. But for the most part, a lot of people are taking this in stride. They're inconvenienced by some of the heavy traffic that's going on and the floodwaters. But for the most part, things people are taking it pretty well. Well, that's good. We were watching the uh, the numbers that uh, the California Nevada River um, Watch Center was feeding us, and we were watching the crest numbers and the the uh, flood numbers, and it looked like it was coming down pretty hard. It's good to see that there really hasn't been a lot of damage from this uh, this crescent. You said it did peak, which uh, kind of scared some people. We didn't know what was going to happen, but it looks like damage uh, is minimal at this point. Yeah, a few days ago, it looked like this river was actually going to peak later in the day. But as the uh, storm got closer, they picked up their analysis to have a peak at the 19 feet and about two inches or so high point. And that happened just moments ago while this bridge did get washed over. But now it's receded back down. I'd say it's about a foot and a half, maybe two feet below the road level here right behind me. All right, good. Now, St. Helena, for those people who aren't familiar with that area, is right there in the Napa Valley. As you were driving around, what have you had a chance to see? What have you witnessed uh, beyond St. Helena, maybe throughout the Napa Valley? So on our way out here from the Sacramento headquarters, we did see numerous spinouts. unfortunately. Some folks maybe traveling a little bit too fast for the road conditions, especially when the wind and the rain combine together. It makes a dangerous mix. And if you tap those brakes at great speed, it can put you into a spin out. Um, on our way out here, someone right in front of us, unfortunately, spun out. We checked on them. They were OK. Some, some other uh, bystanders who were in front of us and other vehicles stayed with them to uh, make sure that um, their vehicle was able to get out of that situation. But uh, we are seeing some more of that uh, throughout Northern California. But uh, we have seen um, fairly moderate impacts, like we mentioned, about the standing water and sort of those seasonal areas which flood maybe every five to ten years. Yeah. Now, you sent back a little bit of video earlier. Uh, tell us what it was we were looking at there. It looks like some water uh, flowing, like I said, at a pretty good clip under some bridges. Uh, tell me about what it was you shot. 
So we were in downtown Napa earlier today at uh, Veterans Memorial Park, which is at an interesting spot in Napa. The locals uh, will know it well. It's right there in the heart of downtown. You pull right off the road and you're basically standing next to the riverbanks. And from that angle, you can see two Passover bridges and the water was literally kissing right up under those bridges at about the 10 and a half, 10 foot mark. And I think the uh, Napa River right there was expected to get as high as 11 feet or more. Well, it's a good thing it didn't get quite as high as uh, as was expected. Obviously, damage kept to a minimum. Uh, we're going to be sending you out all kinds of places, uh, depending on how this weather plays out. Uh, Brad and your uh, videographer, John Larimore, we appreciate you going out and giving us a, a quick little video tour and giving us an update on what's going on out there in the Napa Valley, St. Helena. Uh, safe travels. All right, stay dry, John. Hey, you too.